unfortunately for the Western martial arts is that they've been lost to time. Um, when firearms came around, uh, people stopped learning how to fight with a sword and started learning how to fight with a gun. I focus solidly on my opponent. I watch his eyes, watch his, watch his hands for any little movement. Anything that's going to tell me where that sword is going to go, and I try to, you, you have to try and outthink your opponent. I think there's something noble about learning how to use a sword and being face to face with your opponent. There's just something that gets you into it when you're two feet away from your opponent and it's you or him by the uh, point of a sword. Besides combat, we do a lot of other things, but combat is one of our main focuses. The name of the group is ECS, and that's an acronym for Empire Chivalry and Steel. And it's just a collection of enthusiastic amateurs that uh, are interested in some time period in history. Uh, we mainly focus on uh, Europe between 800 AD and 1650 AD. Uh, and whatever the individual is interested in learning between those time periods in Europe, uh, we try to encourage that research. We get together every week and uh, we study uh, Western martial arts under uh, different uh, weapon styles. We find the treatises, we use other uh, literature books that other masters have written and interpreted and we go through it. It's almost like a regular martial arts class except it's with swords. What we're doing now is 15th century Italian longsword. Uh, and what we're doing is trying to reconstruct a uh, lost art of uh, medieval martial arts. So what you see behind me are individuals that are, um, they don't do this as a profession, they do this on Sundays. Uh, everybody has a day job, uh, but they come out here and uh, try to reconstruct that lost martial art. A lot of us, were really combat oriented. We, we really enjoy combat, but we have others that don't do as much combat. We have some individuals that are researching uh, historical alchemy. A lot of arts work. Making uh, armor, mail. Illumination, manuscript. Calligraphy. And then afterwards they usually get together and they study uh, uh, Renaissance and medieval dance styles. All right, ready? We try to encourage our members to get into other things as well. Uh, it's really easy to become very focused on one element of whatever they're studying, um, but there's a lot of people that have different interests, uh, and we try to encourage those interests by all of us participating in them. So not all of us are dancers, not all of us are swordsmen, um, but we jump around to uh, different focuses to um, learn something else that is a little outside of our comfort zone. So you know, if you're not a big into dancing and that's okay, you can think about it as learning better footwork. The way I try to uh, associate or explain to people is when people take uh, foreign language classes, they usually take on a, a name of the language that they're studying. So it helps you immerse in sort of your research. Um, and there are a lot of little nuances that you can gather from uh, how they lived and what their day-to-day -day life was. You can sort of take on a persona, um, put on the clothes that they wore, um, and try to recreate the history that you're researching uh, to the best you can. The personas are also a work in progress. So, you know, you, you just keep evolving your personas. Um, but when, when you do dress up, it really does kind of help get into the mindset. We try to keep it as close as history that we could. We don't portray any person in particular. We don't have King Arthur in our group or anything like that. I'm a retired crusader, made it through the crusades, um, and I'm just sort of um, living the good life right now on my estate. <laughs> The main thing, it's a lot of fun. So for me, I have no intentions of stopping anytime soon. These groups are, are great. They're a lot of fun, a good way to get stress out, you know. It's a good way to relieve stress. You know, think about your boss while you're in there and go at it. The future of organization is obviously getting more people interested. So try to get more members. Uh, the more people uh, that you can put in front of you to hit with the sword, the more fun it is.